Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be on my chinchilla binder. So I don't actually have chinchillas, however, I am looking to get some at some point. I don't know when, um, but I've put some money aside and hopefully I will have some. As I said, no idea when, but I just thought I'd do this video to show you the binder and I know a couple of you wanted to see it and I also did one recently on my rabbit binder and that went down quite well, so I thought I'd show you this one. So, excuse the glare there, but the binder is just a uh, greeny blue. It looks more blue on camera, really, but um, it's just plain. And then inside, I've got a title page on the first bit with various gingular pictures on. And I think it's this one that belongs. That photo belongs to Lucy's pets, so thank you for letting me use that photo. Um, I did ask for permission. And then this one, this one, and I think it's that one. Um, is from one of my friends, Maddie. So again, thank you, Maddie, for letting me use your photos too. And it just says chinchillas on the top. On the next page it just goes into the dietary requirements for chinchillas. So it's got about the hay, the pellets, the water, um, treats, and then it moves into housing. And then this picture here was from a chinchilla group and I really liked the setup. So I use that. That's really neat, but it probably won't stay that not very long. Um, but I just thought it was really nice. Then it goes into dust baths. And then temperature. And then it would choose. A little chinny chewing. And then I have a lot of information on all the different health problems. So there's so many pages on this, and it includes symptoms, treatment, or age they get it, what it does, stuff like that. So there's all that on there, and a bit up there too. And then it's got all the chinchilla colours. And it's just got a picture and a description of each one. And some of them have the genes that you need to get those chinchillas. <coughs> so it goes down to here, and then it moves on to bedding. So it's got all the different beddings you can use. So there's fleece, shavings, mega sub, there's pros and cons of all of them too. And then I come onto company. And again, here is a picture from Lucy's pet, so thank you again. So it's just got a little bit about why they need company. And then it's got about all the different vocalizations. And then body language. And then there's about the taming process. I love this picture. So adorable. And then it's got how to handle a chinchilla. And then health checks. Then it moves on to shedding as every three months chinchilla shed their fur. So it's just got about that and grooming them as well. And then it's got how to introduce chinchillas to each other. So there's quite a bit of information on that. And then I have a checklist of things you need. And then a few different chinchilla facts. And then I've got this list of safe and unsafe woods. And then ones that are safe in limited quantities. And 
So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to help you out to give you some ideas if you want to make a minder for um, any pet that you want. And I will see you all next time. Bye.